guys and welcome back to Tech Showdown. I'm still feeling really sick, but hey, I've got a really good video for you guys today. It's the Playtech Colossus gaming desktop PC that I'll be reviewing. So let's start then with the looks. So it's coming with the Inwin 909 full tower case, which looks absolutely gorgeous. It's also coming with Playtech Spectrum RGB LED lighting system, which gives it a lot of pop. Uh, it just looks very clean to me, very sexy and crisp without being too... Uh, over the top like we see with a lot of gaming rigs. So I really like that. It's got the glass paneling on the side uh, I took that off for most of the shots in this video because it's obviously really reflective So that is something you need to keep in mind But let's talk about something more important then and that's inside the case and the specs So CPU wise it's coming with the Intel i7 7700k quad-core KB like CPU and this through Playtex Redline Pro System overclocking is clocked at 5 gigahertz they do their own in-house overclocking i know all the guys there that do it and they really know what they are doing now calling it is a corsair h100i v2 mounted up the front there we'll talk about temps a bit more later on motherboard wise it's coming with the gigabyte aurus z270x gaming 9 motherboard that's a very very high end motherboard a very very good one all the bells and whistles probably one of the best z270s you can get and i really like it Memory wise, it's coming with 16 gigabytes. That's a two times eight gigabyte kit of Corsair Vengeance RGB memory clocked at 3000 megahertz. Now GPU wise, you can either get this with a single Nvidia Titan XP that has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, or in this case, you can get two and run them in SLI. Now this is just crazy. Uh, they are so powerful, a very, very powerful GPUs here. Running them in, in SLI is just absolutely nuts. Uh, now powering them is the Corsair HX850 850 watt platinum power supply. This is a very good one. I actually personally run the Corsair HX1000i. Now, uh, SSD wise, it's coming with a 512 gigabyte NVMe M.2 SSD. In this case, it's a WD Black. Uh, mass storage wise, coming with a 2 terabyte WD Black uh, HDD. That, that's good, just, you know, chuck all your other files on. You mainly want to be putting your games on that M.2. And it's coming with a three year return to base warranty. Now, with all that being said, let's jump to the benchmarks and see how this beast performs. So I only did uh, 1440p for the high refresh rate 1440p users out there and 4K because obviously this thing is way overkill for uh, 1080p. So let's jump in and see how it does. we're back so as you guys can see there this thing is an absolute beast this is the most powerful system i have ever tested it is absolutely crazy the cpu does very well at 5 gigahertz but those gpus really steal the show titan xp sli is just crazy and the performance is absolutely phenomenal even in ghost recon wildlands it managed to get over 60 fps at 4k on ultra which is no small feat that game is absolutely crazy hard to run so with all that being said let's talk about the temps and noise so temps wise i tested this in the intel extreme tuning utility for the cpu and heaven for the gpu so cpu wise in xtu the 7700k went up to 71 degrees celsius remember that's at 5 gigahertz so that's very very respectable there and gpu wise or gpus in this case in heaven i saw them both go up to 81 degrees celsius which is also very very good that's mainly i think because they have two fans on the bottom there feeding them nice cold air 
So, noise-wise, it was also very good for casual things. When you're browsing the web, it'll be just fine. When you start playing games, it will ramp up a little bit, but nothing I would say is excessive. It's just about standard sort of ramp up. And that brings us now to the conclusion, and we have to bring the price into this. So this guy's coming in at 5999 New Zealand dollars at Playtech right now, and that's just with the single Titan XP in there. If you want to run dual Titan XP, so an SLI like this one I tested, it will set you back 8,498 New Zealand dollars. So that's a lot of money. But for that money, you get one hell of a gaming PC. This is the most powerful system I have ever tested by far. It is insanely powerful. So I really like it, obviously, but it's only going to appeal to a very, very specific buyer. I imagine someone who walks into Playtech one day, someone who's got a lot of money to burn, and they're like, hey, what's the most powerful system you can give me right now? And they'll probably give a, uh, give that person this rig because it is absolutely crazy. But yeah, I really like it. It's coming with a high price tag, but that's to be expected given how much these GPUs cost. Uh, but yeah, it's a very, very good system and it will do very well if you bought this. Uh, yeah, you'll never run out of power, that's for sure. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. I hope I'll get better soon so I can get back on the camera for you guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.